Hey there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Tasks by Planner app in Microsoft Teams. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, to access the Tasks by Planner app, if you haven't already done this, you want to click on the More Added Apps button here on your activity bar. Then you want to click on the Tasks by Planner and To Do app. And if you want to pin this, you can just right click on the icon and pin it so that it's permanently docked in your activity bar. And when you click on this, it's going to bring you into this new app. This is really a new consolidated view. It provides you with an overview of all the different task assignments um, across your different teams and your standalone tasks in one view. So let's go ahead and have a look. So on the My Tasks pane here, you've got a few different options. First and foremost, if you click on the Tasks list here this is going to show you a list of your standalone tasks now what do i mean by that well that these are tasks that you have created yourself that are independent of a team uh, or perhaps that are coming in from your microsoft to do app uh, and if you want to go ahead and add a new task is it's as simple as clicking on add a task here so let's go ahead and you know create new training video and there you go you've created a task and if you click on it you can expand out and add additional items to this task okay um, then you have some other options so you can see tasks that are assigned to you planned based on dates that you've entered into tasks um, and then ones that you flagged important okay um, now you can also view the different task assignments that you have across your teams in the shared plan section of this app Okay, so you can see here I am showing one of my two teams, my leadership team, and I have a task or a plan in that team. And if I click on tasks in the general channel, this is going to show me the tasks that have been assigned to me um, in that team. And you can, you can see here create management report task. Now if I click on my teams icon and come into that corresponding team, leadership team in my general channel, in my tasks tab, you will see that I have that create management report task listed here as well. Okay, you can also see this little banner that says we've renamed the planner app in Teams to tasks by planner and to do. Okay, so this is really a good way for you to sort of consolidate and collapse all of your different task assignments into uh, a singular view for ease of access. Now within the tasks by planner and to do, you can also switch your views. So if you like to work with your lists, that's what we're showing here. If you want to move into your board view, you can view your tasks in a board view um, and you can also view them on a calendar by clicking on schedule. So that's it. This is a quick overview of the new tasks by Planner and to-do app in Microsoft Teams. I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, if you did and you want to stay up to date on the latest tutorials around Microsoft Teams, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to like the video below. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon.